Brandon, are we yeah. up on Bob's? Oh, yeah. Okay. I never know. I don't know. Well, that's, that's the whole point. It's the beautiful point. We just go live and we just talk. And yeah. Talk and Pinterest. No, no, no we're, we're, we are ready to. Are you ready to roll? I'm, I'm always ready to roll. I think she was born She's ready. Uh -huh. On this jam session, Chrissy Maloof stops by. Yay! This is a special edition for two, well, for, I mean, obviously you're here. It's very special. But it is our Halloween edition. Yes. It's the 65th edition of the jam session. <laughs> And I got my wife here. That's even hey. more special. I love right? it. Yeah. I'm so, so I know excited. this is like I'm yeah. gonna sit back and watch all this stuff yeah. happen. Yeah. Okay. Because this is gonna be like it's I'm gonna lob a softball out, and y'all are just gonna take it from there. You're gonna knock yeah. it out of the park. We might lose your show. Yeah. I'm gonna lose my show. I, this is what happened. Anytime <laughs> yeah. I bring her in, yeah. especially with somebody as dynamic as you, and all of a sudden this conversation starts going, I just sit here and try to look good and try yeah. to stay out of the way yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's really hard. Yeah. I was just excited to, to meet her in person because yeah. we've been like social media friends forever. Yeah. And we're like walking <laughs> off the, the sidewalk together and I felt like it was like that running hug. I was yeah. like, oh, I'm going to do so like this. We both wore gray shoes and we're like, oh, we didn't even plan that. So it was meant to be. It was meant. It's destiny. Well, so, so yeah. I haven't, oh, sorry. Oh, okay. no. Okay. Yeah. This yeah. is the word you'll start. I haven't gotten to my intro. Yeah. Yeah. I've had been stalking you it's out marriage. on Facebook yes. because okay. I feel like, and we talked about this earlier, there aren't, you know, everybody's talking about video and yeah. going live and all of that, but uh, there are so very few people that really do it consistently and mm -hmm. do it well. And you're That's like, y'all too. I mean, one of the, the only ones in uh, realtors that do it consistently. Yeah. Well, and I have been watching, right? Because I, cause I mm -hmm. love what you do. Your, your hustle, everything about you is kind of speaks to exactly what we live in yeah, every single day. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then I really started, like, I knew you were going to be on the show. I'm like, okay, I really got to go dive deep in you all this stuff. Can't do his research. I do my, my, my research. I'm scared. No, I mean, you, I mean, you know, we talked about this before the show, like on, on Instagram, yeah. I mean, you knock it out of the park. I mean, I, I love yeah. the content. I mean, it, it's different. You got to really, I mean, Facebook's one way to market. Yeah, Instagram's different. a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Same thing with YouTube and Twitter. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, mm -hmm. people try to do the same thing on every single one. Yeah. And you really got to be different in each one of those because when you when you're in Twitter, or in LinkedIn, for instance, your mind is in a different place. It's more business yes, focused, yes. but IG is a little bit edgier. The imagery is you know kind of plays to people mm -hmm. than more so than what Facebook does. And you do a really good job yeah, with it. Thank you. Yeah. But I'm having fun with the stories. I think I like yeah. the Instagram stories. Well, it's like it's quick and kind of, and you can check in locations. I mean, I probably need to check in here before I leave. You probably do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what am I thinking? I didn't get yeah. you to do it. Yeah. No, you're right. Because a lot of people will, I mean, the wall's great. I mean, because you yes. get a lot of activity mm -hmm. in the wall. And what I find is, um, too, your, your, the way the algorithms are working with IG right now is if you have the pictures, and you have multiple pictures and, and, be, mm -hmm. and people are seeing you like go from one picture to the next picture to the next picture on your wall, then it's kind of keeping you up mm -hmm. at a higher place. Mm -hmm. But the stories, I think, is where a lot of the action is yes. taking place. Because yeah. a lot of, they just go and sit there and watch a story. Yeah. 15 yeah. seconds, bam, 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 bam. Yeah, and it's easy to do when you're just sitting in between. So you just swipe, swipe. I, I don't know. Yep. It's just, I, I like it. One, I like it too, because it's like I see places if I'm on vacation. Uh -huh. I'm checking in some places and it's like, oh, look, I should open the storyboard. And then I start looking at other stories. And I'm like, oh, where's that restaurant? Where, I mean, well, speaking of stories, you know? did you see my latest story release? Today? Uh, it was no. last night. Okay. I need to pro. Uh, mm. <laughs> oh, that's a football game. Okay. Yeah, you were okay. out late. Well, I we, saw. you know, I'm gonna have to go back and look. We, it is for 24 hours, <laughs> and will, we did we did let it go to the highlights. Okay. But I, I I released a a uh, um, a music channel, my playlist oh, on that. on Apple Music and on Spotify. Okay. So we get a lot of feedback yes. from people that they love the music that we play in our vlogs and everything. And so Brandon and I were sitting here talking, which Brandon, by the yeah. way, yeah, Brandon who, rocks. yeah, like Brandon. yeah. yeah. He's that ginger BP. <laughs> yeah. If you yeah. want to follow yeah. him on Instagram, yeah. Yeah. or He's like I mean, Ed he Sharon, looks like, like you know, totally Ed Sheeran. Yes, yes. I just went to the Ed Sheeran. He is. He is dressed yeah, up as Ed Sheeran for Halloween. Now you got to sing for us before the show's over. <laughs> no, that, that's where we stop. Okay. Yeah, we <laughs> stop. We stop with just the yeah, look alike. We have to draw the line. Yeah, the singing. Um, but we get a lot of people, you know, like, oh, do I love the music? So we decided to, to put together a playlist and throw it out there on Apple Music and Spotify okay. for people just to subscribe and listen to what we use. And as I get inspired, yeah. I'll put in different music. 
Oh, I'm excited. So, okay, so now I gotta give me one of the songs on there. You, you, okay. you, just go, just go to Apple Music or Spotify, now. subscribe yeah. to okay. it, and then okay. it'll always be fresh. And you may have to get your own playlist. Okay. Too. Well, and it's not yeah. its not always going to be just the songs that I love, right? I mean, because okay. I, I, I can go from one generation yeah. or genre of music I'm to another okay, genre, right? right? Mm -hmm. But this is just really for stuff that, that inspires us that we use for, for like, our, our vlogs, our office motivation, just, yeah. you know, things like that that really speak to me. Okay. And, you know, because, I mean, it, and it could be country, it could be yeah. rap, it I mean, could be rock, I mean, whatever. Don't worry, yeah. Right? You saw my post the other day where I was like, I'm a little country and a little thug. I mean, I... <laughs> I was going to hip hop. I think what was the thug, shirt you had? Thug what wife. Thug wife, wife yeah. I, was, I love it. I did it. go to Bucky's like that, and I was like, see, everyone, I didn't, and my Bucky's like, Oh, no, you shirt. fit right in at Bucky's. Yeah, did, they yeah. need to be selling that shirt. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh huh. Super mm. cute. It was fun. Maybe we could get one that, you know, M squared real estate team with thug, thug would, wife. Darby and I could, yeah, we could. Yeah, and, and then wife, throw that out there with. Yeah. Yeah. Next time we need to get Darby here. Darby, yeah. Yeah, she's probably out running around. She's got that three-day. Well, Bucky's has come here. up twice in my life in the last 24 hours. This, and then uh, we have a lady that we're doing a loan for. Where oh. her whole family, like they, they they built a company and they make all the um, the jerky and the sausage. <gasps> that jerky yeah. is like for, oh, for oh my gosh, I love that jerky. Yeah. Oh. I'm yes. jealous. Yeah. That's it, awesome. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah, I'm going to try to barter a deal <laughs> here. Like to, a like lifetime supply of jerky yeah. and sausage. Uh, yeah, you have a successful <laughs> closing. I better get some jerky right. out of the deal. Like, oh, that is that's yeah, great. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, yeah, the new didn't want to open this week, so everyone's been like, so this it, week is open closest, like Monday. That's the closest yes. one to mm -hmm. all of us, I think. Wow. So you can drive to Denton for Bucky's, and I will show you what the square looks like now and the old Fry Street, UNT, how much it's grown. Yeah. That's so, amazing. Somebody was saying the other day. Uh, so is it give them the claw? Is that what? Well, UT's you know, like doing good this year. UNT? They're like, yeah, the Eagles are winning. And yeah. What? Do y'all go to the yeah. games? We, we don't go to all the games, but we go to games. Yes. Like we, if, if we, if, here's the deal. If the Sooners are not playing on TV, we're going to be at the games. <laughs> but we always love to support our UNT Eagles. And if we're not, we're still following along TV or whatever we can to right. cheer them on. So, yeah, uh, you know, the games the, are fun. You'd have to go yeah. back. You know, Brandon, I wish we could just, like, interject. Since this is a live show, we can't do it. But the Ask Bob Morgan Show, I did, and, and your husband will hate me. Yeah. Right? I did do a prediction on the Texas OU game. Oh, uh -huh. I made, I got asked a question, actually, yeah. by my wife. Uh-huh. She asked me who was going to win, and I did yeah. actually make the yeah. prediction. And, the and Texas. it was the correct one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was correct. It was, a, it was a sad day in our I bet you know what, though? It was an exciting <laughs> game. It was, no matter what, if you weren't for either team, it was an exciting game. Especially for but, OU to come back at the end. It was but, but here's the deal. The truth came out with Texas. It, it always does, it seems like, because yeah. they, then they go lay an egg <laughs> yeah. at, at Oklahoma State. Yeah. I mean, come on. You yeah. beat Oklahoma, but you can't beat Oklahoma yeah, I, State. Exactly. Yeah. And, so. I, you know, the team got up. I mean, the Cowboys played well. But, I mean, when we when you give up whatever it was, 30-something, 38 points, yeah. uh, and 30-something of them in the first half, it's just yeah. you're, you're not going to overcome yeah. that I mean, in yeah. most, most cases. Yeah. Well, and for us, I think the hardest thing is, like, OU Texas, like, all the kind of fair weather fans like start to call my husband like, oh, look, oh yeah, look. and John's like, dude, you only cheer for the Longhorns when they win. So it's so funny because like <laughs> his phone starts blowing up and we're like, we don't hear from those friends all year. Right. And exactly. Like, all of a sudden they win. <laughs> and, it's like... and we're like, thanks, we love y'all. How a uh, Merry Christmas. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah that's, so. that's really hilarious. But it's all right. There's always next year. We're staying positive. Oh, yeah. Well, you still yeah. got the Big Twelve <laughs> yeah, championship, right. and and you yeah. know, you get you still got you still have uh, LSU and Alabama that have to play. Yeah. So, I mean, there's always a way and an angle to, to no, get a Big 12 team up there, no. but it doesn't help no. when you got two of the dominant teams and the team, you know, Texas and OU, and then one of them wins in that shootout, yes. and then they lose again. Because mm -hmm. it, it's, it's just, just hard to get back yeah. up into the top yeah. top five. But we you know? love we love college football. We're just a big college. Like, that's it's our It's so much Saturday. better, so much it better than, than yes. NFL. It is. I mean, it's just exciting, and just like the, our whole family gets into it. So. Saturdays, I quickly learn whenever I was engaged to my husband that that's his thing. It's like birthday parties. Nope, I'm gonna be watching. I'm like, okay, <laughs> he draws the line. Draw, but that's okay though, and yeah. it's fun because now it's like You're making an event. Well, yeah, yeah, it is an event. I'll be like at some event myself, or I'll be doing an open house texting. I'm like, what's the score? Text, you know, like give me an update. So it's fun. So yeah. we got we got Oklahoma now. There was an A&M. My family, yes, my granddaddy and my uncle. Is this the granddaddy from Piggly Wiggly? No, different one. So my Stotzenberger, my German family. Okay. He played okay. for A&M, and oh, then wow. my uncle played for A&M, and then 
that same granddaddy played for Buffalo Bills back in, you know, it would have been like the 50s. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's like, that's a, that's a, like, like, a yeah. very interesting yeah. family, yeah, too. Yeah, but I'm, like, short and have no athletic skills. I can dance, but I can't. <laughs> I didn't have high school. I can dance. Okay, what kind of dancing? Dance. I like to hip-hop. I was also said, I like to. Are you to, serious? She takes hip hop like, classes. Yeah, that's all I Oh my gosh. Your research. Yes, yeah. I didn't do the research I in the like hip hop stuff. I like, yeah, I'm not, no, I'm not graceful. I'm too clumsy to be graceful. So it has to be like the pop it and drop it and go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Like, yeah. All right. So that's what I was like, yeah, I, I get the country to rap because I, uh -huh. you know, being South Texas, like we talked about, like I love my old Texas country. Yeah. And then I also yeah, like yeah. my rap. So, so. Texas, absolutely grew up in Texas country, yes. but then you got to throw in a kid rock in there. To oh, Oh, yeah, I love some good rock too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but, but we grew up, that. you know, I grew up in a time when, you know, it was like Boston and, you know, I mean, the, the, the that 80s rock, yeah. um, 70s, 80s rock music was just big in my life. Yeah. So, so you're I think that's why I, I, I like it. I, mean, I, I like that yeah. time because, yeah. I mean, it's, it's really taught me to really enjoy all kinds yep. of music yeah. and you know, whether it's Sinatra or mm -hmm. it's. You know, some like I don't know. I walk in here Tupac sometimes. And there's like heavy metal on. And oh, see, I'm and I can't. Like, yeah, but my husband will do some of that too. Where it's like he'll put on my son. I'm like, yeah, rah, 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 yeah. You know, like all I that just, old like Metallica. Yeah, Megadeth. Like, oh yeah, I can't. at this at this age in yeah. the game and all that, I just yeah. can't deal. Well, I like, want to be like, like are, yeah. What? You have Metallica on. Are you? I mean, it's like you're getting jacked up. I'm like, no, I get no, I get I get peace. Really peaceful. It's it's like. It's like you know, fuel the song. Just kind of like, okay, I got that. That's pretty cool. Okay, yeah. Just kind of. Pieces me out. Yeah, I can't do that. I mean, but then I did go to like the corn concert back in the 90s. I don't know. It's like you look back, I'm like, I went to some rock, con but I think it was just a concert to go to, and that's what you did in the, the 90s. The stuff that really gets me jacked up is like no. Beastie Boys. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You know? I like Beastie Boys. Yeah. I like all that. So. Yeah. See, that's good. You gotta be diversifying your music. Okay, this that is a mortgage good. and real estate show. Yeah, I think. right. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. We're, 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 are how long, okay, so how long yeah. have you been in real estate? Okay, so this is the fun story. So, got licensed in 2008, like the worst time ever to get licensed because, you know, yes. the market was so wonderful then. Um, and I did okay, but uh -huh. like anything, appraisals were coming in low, income was not steady, and we had two kids in daycare. And I was like, I have to have a regular job too. So, I did real estate for part time. Uh -huh. okay. And then I kept working in my previous bank because I was in banking. Mm -hmm. So, then I went back to my banking days and did banking until I got to the point where I was like, it's time to go. And then it was like my husband that was kind of like too like it's you need to go now like it's full time it's, it's full time you. so yeah and then we just took that leap so you of just faith jumped and out now does he work with you uh no no okay. my no so my husband's actually he works for a credit union okay. and didn't didn't area teachers credit union kind of in like the marketing public relations side okay. of it but he's i mean it's it's funny because he's always done like the banking manager side yeah. of it mm -hmm. and he's the i can follow the rules how it is but I mean, he sees the emails and the crazy calls I get, and he's like, I can do it. I mean, because he just, some you have oh, yeah. to put on the nice you do. at all times. Yep. And it's not for uh -huh. the faint at heart. No, I mean, uh -huh. there's, I mean, and he wants to tell him, like, you need to be nice. And I have to be like, ah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, I mean, it's I quickly realizing, like, he doesn't want to see any of those emails, so they don't go to that joint email. They go to this email. Cause, <laughs> so, marketing you know. PR, is, is he the creative one yeah. in the family, or is that still you? He's really great. No, like, when That's it comes good. to, like, creativity, I'm, uh -huh. I'm going to give it to him. He's more... Like creative, but he's not the person that's going to be like in your face like I am. It's a good balance, mm -hmm. right? Like yeah, he's I mean artsy and he cooks. He does. I mean, so he's y'all sound like yeah. a very good balance. You kind of yeah. have to have a balance. You have to. You know, Bob always says, you know, there's no uh, work life balance in this business. Not there's at all. only harmony. Yeah. And everybody, every day you wake up and it's a different day, a different yeah. schedule, different you situation. You always get a curveball. That's the same. Like there's always, always you're always yes. in it at mm -hmm. the same time. You're yeah. in you're in personal yes. and you're in professional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so you have got you have a team, a thirteen year old. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's sweet though. Okay, knock just, on wood. Yeah, <laughs> I have, and then I have a ten year old boy, so okay. I have two. Yeah, I have Holden, and then I have Madison. So okay, that's it. Yeah, yeah. but they're I mean they're we've been blessed. Like they're two really good kids. So like my Holden's the kid that's like hardcore football. Like he loves mm -hmm. die hard. I mean he likes to wear his OU stuff every day just so it kind of pushes his friends' buttons. Yeah. He had his Baker Mayfield backpack, you know, <laughs> ready to go to school because I mean, he doesn't love I, some shake and bake. I, I, mean, I was excited yeah. that now I can finally root for Baker. Yeah. So yeah, you, I could, I could you do it for Oklahoma, I get that. Right? I get that. So, I mean, it, just, I mean, it is you, what it is. You but just now, love Baker. I mean, oh my yeah. gosh, yeah. Now yeah. at Cleveland, I mean, I, we and, and nothing ever rooted for Cleveland. Yeah, us too. Yeah, we watch him now. I watch him. I'm yeah. like, oh my gosh, yeah. I love this guy. Yeah. I mean, and, and you know, people will make the comparisons like with Johnny Football at A&M oh, yeah. to Baker, yeah. and I just see them two totally different uh, yeah. mentally. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think professionally, how the way they play, there's a lot of similarities in style because they have that. 
that grit. I mean, they have the ability to maneuver, make plays, and all that kind of stuff. But I just see Baker on the professional mental side. He's much yeah. further along than than Manziel yeah, was. I can see that. I mean, just from the A yeah. M side of yeah. you, right? Because nope. you probably watch both. Yeah, I watch both. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's and like when I'm also weird, it likes to watch Hard Knocks. I mean, we were like, I watch uh -huh. all the HBO shows, and I <laughs> and I get like connected to the players. I think that's money. It's like, but it's like we do in our business. It's a personal yeah. connection. So it, it's, it's interesting you said that because people will say, well, are you a team guy? Like, do you like a particular mm -hmm. team? And, no, and it's the players. You know, it, it has shifted for me a yeah. lot. It, it's, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, there are some teams I just, I love the team. But it's moved yeah. in any sport, basketball, football, baseball, it's kind of more player driven. Now. Yeah, I think I don't so like too. the team, but I like the player. Yeah. Like, like with, with uh, the World Series that just happened. Yes, right? uh -huh. yeah. So I didn't really care who won, but I really, really liked LA from the, because uh, Clayton Kershaw is, a, you know, a Highland Park kid and you know so grew up and I, we, yeah. we know the connection there yeah. and then but I, I like um, uh, Boston for the fact that Ian Kinsler uh -huh. is a well he's a partner in a, a company called Warstick Bats uh, Warstick is a baseball okay. bat company which happens to be a friend of ours owns that uh, so Ben Jenkins right so it's kind of like you, you find these reasons to root for the yeah. player and not so much the team. Well, I'm, I'm, really the no, I'm the same way. I'm player. the same way too. Yeah. Like I don't yeah. follow sports near yeah. as much as you guys, yeah. uh, but I definitely could get into whenever they're highlighting the players. Yeah, that's what. That's why we like the Olympics. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like you keep stories. bringing us back into sports. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Okay. okay. So, this is real estate. So we work. work. We do work. I mean, nobody really wants to care about yeah. mortgage and real estate. Yeah. They want to yeah. talk about all this stuff. Let's talk. I can't wait to see all the comments. I mean, but I have you, some horns in there. Did you ever feel like, though, you were going to be building a real estate company no. when you got into real estate, no. everything that you're doing, the team no. that you're building, everything? I did, I, did, I did, no, I did not. I really, I thought I was going in just to be like mm -hmm. a realtor that sells houses, like a like a lot of them do, and you just yeah. you sell and you go from month to month, and that's how it goes. But it's just it worked out that yep. social media, like we talked about was kind of kicked off around that same time. I went from the MySpace to the Facebook and then the Instagram. And it's you like took advantage and the of it when nobody else yeah, was, and probably. And it wasn't even that I was trying to sell. And like we talked about, I was just being myself. Yep. And that's what people connect to is that you see me and all my moments in my life. And it's and that's what, you know, when I talk to all the new agents that come in and they're like, I got to get my contacts. I got to get my contacts. I'm like, what are you doing this weekend? Where, where are you going? Like, are you talking to people? I mean, mm -hmm. Just yeah. connect to people. But so many people feel like it's just, I have to call, I have to call. And I'm like, I have to call or get my CRM yeah, together and I've got to do this mailer. And they you're, spend so much time spy. doing you're right. that. Yeah. There's no, there's no yeah. just connecting. Yeah. And engaging. that's it. And people, that's what I tell them, like, people want that connection. They want to know who you are because I'm like, if I'm trusting you with a big purchase and you're doing my loan, I want to know who's doing my loan. Yeah. I want to know who's going to be opening my door. What's their family like? Do you really know the town you're showing? You know, <laughs> And we get feedback, and I, and I do. I think that's the most valuable thing yeah. we can get right now is the feedback and listening to what our quote-unquote audience would tell us, right? Mm -hmm. And they want more of that. So, like, yep. Brandon and I keep continue to challenge ourselves because there's a lot of times I can't just always record, yeah. right? Because I'm having conversations yeah. with a client or mm -hmm. whatever, and, it's, and it's, they're confidential, right? Yeah. And so I can't put, like, everything on there. But the feedback we get is they love when they see it just – real time, like yes. real action, like me walking around, talking to my team, making decisions, all this yeah. kind of stuff, because that's what they're seeing and yeah. connecting with. Mm -hmm. Not so much um, the, what they feel, even though it's not, they feel it's kind of still produced mm -hmm. content. They don't want that. No. They want the real life, yeah. like happening right in yeah. the moment type stuff. So we really push ourselves even more now than we ever have on trying to create that real produced content. Because it's not staged. It's real. Yeah. I mean, they, it's like, and I think it's for them, it's like they get the eye opening of that's what really happens behind the scenes. Because a lot of times, I mean, just like any realtor, people are like, oh, they just play golf all day. They just go to happy hour. Yeah. I don't have time for that. I, I, I don't have time right. for that stuff. I'm like, I'm on from I wake up until I go to bed. Right. Now, I do need to do better at time blocking, and that's mm -hmm. where I've started my hip hop classes and need to make more time to where I turn off my phone. But I mean, you don't. So tell me, I'm like, I get in the car, I'm working. Yeah. I, you know, I'm. Yeah. You, and you really, there's something really is to do all yeah. the time. Yeah. Yeah. You do have to turn it off or you don't ever, <sighs> or you're not yeah. able to take care of yourself no. yeah. or spend quality time. Yeah. Well, I think it'll it comes, take over. It comes back to just like we, we talk about this with our team time kills, deals, speed wins. Mm -hmm. So even if you can't answer the question at that time, the ability to quickly say, hey, got the text, I yes, need an hour. That's it. Is yeah. that going to be okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That quick response it helps. 
it, I agree. It, absolutely. And then it gives you the hour back yeah. of your life that you want yeah. and need because mm -hmm. we have to take care of ourselves yeah. personally to take care of everybody yeah. else professionally. And most of the time, I mean, I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time, people are like, oh my God, yeah, give, it, give us a call back in an hour. Yeah. It's like awesome. And then we could, we could focus on yeah. what we need to do. There is that 0.1% that happens. There's the, yeah. Right? That says, this is a 911, need you. Okay, cool. Take care of it and then get your hour yeah. back, right? Yeah. And so you just got to, that's the harmony it's the balance, piece. Trying to figure, right. yeah. That's, and usually yeah. you're right. Most clients understand. Like last night, I've got a listing that I was waiting on them to sign the listing agreement. And she texted me right when I sat down to the ball game. She's like, hey, it's signed. And I was like, okay. I mean, and she was like, enjoy. I miss those times. And yeah. so I sent her a picture of the my daughter exactly. out on the like, cheering, you know. And she was like, thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so I'm still connecting with them, but they know that. I'm in that moment. I'll yep. get it done today. And, and if you let and people fine. know, if you communicate with them, 99% of the time they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. I totally like, get I it. I haven't forgotten about you. I'm going to make it happen. Yes. And that's the thing. Well, with face, I mean, everyone knows that they're watching now. Hey, I'm here. So I'm probably not working on your deal, but <laughs> right. give me about two hours. I'll be home and I'll that's get it right. done. That's so. right. So is all of your business, you, because you've been in Denton <sighs> your, almost your whole life, mm -hmm. which I love that because yeah. I went to yeah. school there. Yeah. Um, so is all of your business just organic business people that know you? Do all of our business is organic. It's all organic in referrals. So like that's where Darby, like I'd mentioned my real estate partner, we both like we're so proud to say we don't pay for leads. We have mm -hmm. not we don't pay the Zillows, we don't pay it's just it's awesome. It's it's, it's all incredibly organic. blessed. Yeah, yeah, and it's I mean we have it and it's a, we say it's a blessing. Like and it's it's a blessing and a curse this year because with us rolling out the business we haven't had time to really focus on our systems. Yeah. And so that's where we're, when we're doing bold right now at KW, it's not because we need to get the leads, it's we need to figure out our time. Mm -hmm. Like where do we need to be? What do we not need to be doing? Cause mm -hmm. right now we both do stuff that we probably shouldn't be, but mm -hmm. it's, we're so used to that taking care of our people yes. that it's hard to say, can you help take care of this? It's hard you to know? let go and, so, yeah, and, and trust, and, that's and have trust. Yeah, and so I mean, we've got, I mean, we've got Dora that works for us and she's great and she helps, but that's the only one, for, I mean, we need mm -hmm. more. We need more help because, I mean, we've closed, I mean, gosh, I maybe right at 80 units for yeah. the year. I mean, if that's, and that's just two girls. I mean, that's two moms right. that also are overcommitted volunteers that we love to serve in our community, yes. that we, we also have kids we run around. So we were looking at our schedule like, well, between this time and this time, we're driving. But what you don't realize is we're driving and then we're stopping in the parking lot and we're working. Sure. Right. You know, so yeah. that's, it's like, we, you know, it's like, it looks like we're running kids around, but we're still multi, because mom's. That you have to multitask. multitask. Or you and drop them you off do. and you, yeah, you're yeah, in the parking yeah, lot the yeah. whole time while they're in yeah, there doing yeah. their thing. I mean, yes. and we have our we have our fails. We have our moments where we'll sit and we'll call each other and cry and be like, oh, we just did this bad moment for mom mm -hmm. moment. But it's, it's yeah. But we are all. I mean, it's been yeah. it's all organic. And I don't think we meant it to be that. It just worked that way. And I think it's because we both have we have good reputations. We've always served in our area. And it's not that we serve because we want. It's just it's what we do. We love right. to give back. And so it's kind of. Uh -huh. come back you know we're pta moms we're both in leadership stuff we're just it's mm -hmm. yeah. yeah incredibly involved well, yeah and, yeah and i think a lot of it and it's your, your energy and enthusiasm it is contagious yeah. i have it to is, say yeah, you're it so sweet. is I should have brought my pot. I could have been a cheerleader today. <laughs> <laughs> I could have worn like an OU cheerleader. I'm just kidding. No, I couldn't, I couldn't fit in that skirt, but it'd be nice. <laughs> no, but your energy is contagious. Yeah, and that, I mean, too. usually yeah. I don't even do come in here during the, these, but uh, I just wanted to be in here with you. I'm excited. And you uh, because uh, you, it's, you just kind of are so fun and charismatic and Thank you, you really do draw people in. And so yeah. I do, it's no accident why but, you're so successful. And I think that's for us is like, it's a relationship business. Mm -hmm. And so for us, it's, you know, if we help one person, well then, You've got this, you know, it's easy for us to help three or four more of that same family mm -hmm. in a short time because, well, you just helped me. Now grandma wants to move here. Now, you know, yeah. and it's, so it's like we get connected to the whole family and we do a lot like we're, you know, Darby this past year and we'll do it again where you invite them to your house and you have mm -hmm. a cookie decorating Christmas event. You know, right. so it's right. like, yep. you, it's just that we're all one big happy family and everyone kind of gets along and all throughout the year they know what our kids are doing and there's times that our kids are with us and they know that because it's like, We've got to pick up. I might have. Okay, that's fine. I think that's it's, part of your draw, though. So we kind though. of connect mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. family. Yes. So it's, it works. Yeah. And so Darby, joined, you guys joined forces in Feb February. Yeah. So we really, so she, I was on a team, and Darby and I were actually Facebook friends. Okay. Someone, a, a friend okay. of mine from Carrollton, Kristen, was like, hey, I've got this really good friend that she's in the corporate world. She is like, worked mm. with my planning events, with, like, oh, nonprofits. Cool. 
you know, kind of stuff in Dallas. She's like, I'm interested in real estate. She has family in Arkansas, so she's an Arkansas girl. We didn't talk uh -oh. about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. Wow. She's she's still nice. We love her. <laughs> um, so I were, we kind of met Facebook and would just kind of get to know each other, and we had a lot of similarities. Uh -huh. And our families are a lot alike, and we have the same kind of values. And it just kind of, we worked, and then she came on to KW and knocked it out her first year, was like, you know, her numbers were great, rookie of the year. I mean, she did wonderful. And so we're both like, let's do this. And it yeah. was like, and it just kind of worked out. We're like, we're M squared. And it's just like, cause we're Maloof and Merriman. Yeah. And then it's kind of our branding has just kind of gone with it. And we're the two, you know, fun blonde moms that you get what you get. <laughs> I mean, it's, now it she's works. more like, but we bounce each other cause she's a little bit more OCD. Right. And it's like, and I'm the more like, ah, it's okay. Yeah. But it's, You're the one that's we, like, I'll do this Facebook yeah. live and you stay home and take care and of our she's, clients. And she's <laughs> the one that's like, I got this. And she's the one that keeps us organized. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's fun. I mean, it's it's been a great balance, a and balance, we. I yeah. mean, to been together this whole time, we haven't. Ar I mean, we haven't had a fight. We haven't yeah. argued about anything. We both come to agreements, and it works out. And, and all that says we a care lot about, because yeah. it's not easy. It's no. you know, there's so many moving pieces in yeah. this business. Yeah. Um, and it's like with Bob and I. I mean, it's kind of like you. You. All, it's like a marriage. Yes, it is. Uh, and you know, Bob, we always say, you know, I'm party in the front, he's business in the back. But you know, in this business, <laughs> it is, you know, yeah. you kind of have to have somebody that organically yeah. that's their calling, that's their highest best yeah. use. And vice versa yeah. and so it works oh it worked out great for me because i mean nobody really ever wanted to talk to me early on i mean i'm a loan officer maybe everything yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, income You're assets run, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah don't yeah. let us walk yeah. in the room right yeah. she walks in the room it's like whoo everybody wants to yeah. go over there it's yeah. like the energy yeah. And yeah, it's uh -huh. like, oh, this is yeah. this is great. And by the way, here's my husband Bob. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to talk I to him. That. You yeah, can yeah, talk yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. evolved over <laughs> the last 22 years, uh, especially it. with what we do now with the uh, the media stuff. But I love it though. Y'all rocking. Y'all well, well, doing great. I, I always watch y'all. So well, thank you. Thank you. That. It's uh, it's it's been fun seeing it evolve. I mean, and, and you, you do a great job as well. And I think, and I don't know why you started that, how you got started with that, because I'd like to pick your brain on that for me. It was just really, it was a decision we had to make to like, we committed to education and the only way I knew to get it out there mm -hmm. to the masses without going one to one to one yes. was just to put it out with yeah. social media. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, it was like, hey, put a camera in front of yeah. you and start talking. Yeah. Right, and, and let's put it out there. Let's see what happens. And yeah. it, it, it grew. Yeah. It well, grew and and for there. me, it was like, and it was, it's different than what everyone else was doing back in the day. So for like when I was doing Instagram lives, it was like, before all the Denton Realtors were doing that. And so now they started doing the Instagram live videos and uh -huh. their, yep. you know, their Facebook live tours. And I'm like, what do I need to do different now? That's exactly and it's like, right. So it's always that you've got to be a step ahead. That's and right. so it's like, I still can do those, but I've got to do a twist to that. Yes. And so it's like, like you doing your music. I mean, that's great because uh -huh. you don't see other people doing that. So. Yeah, because, you know, obviously there's a few people in this city that do what we all do. Yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, we when it's like Bob always says, I can't draw inspiration really from my own industry. We can't look at to see what other mortgage people are doing to no. figure out what to do. We have to be in you the have front. To, yeah. And that's why, I and mean, that's the thing is like in this business, I always like when I help the new agents, I'm like, you can follow someone and get inspired by them, mm -hmm. but do something and make it your own. Don't yeah. copy exactly what, I mean, because that's my, it's, hey, it's I, so hard because I get it sometimes. I'm like, dude, that was my same post, but I'm like, take it as a compliment. Yep. Right. Yep. Move on. Yep. So I, I get that. Right. Yeah. And it's okay. Yeah. And it's okay. They yeah. don't, and it was actually speaks to a post I put out this morning. Get creative. Yeah. I mean, you know, most of the time we, if not we, but there are people that will look in the same industry and do the exact same thing. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, that's a compliment, but I prefer you to actually have bigger and bolder and more creative yes. thoughts mm -hmm. yeah. and then get more creative in the content that you produce yeah. because it will become more memorable. Mm -hmm. And as Jennifer said, I don't find inspiration. We don't find inspiration in our, in our industries, right? In yes. real estate or, or, or uh, mortgage. And so I spend a lot of time outside of it. I, mm -hmm. I go try to find the people that get me the most uncomfortable mm -hmm. so that I can get comfortable doing what I'm doing in my space. That's good. So push me, push me, push me. Cause I'm not, maybe I won't get to that level, but then I can take what is the most uncomfortable figure out how to use it in my space that, that is like, okay, wow, I could do it this way. And that makes me comfortable. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yep. so it just, it's, it's just, it's a, it's fun, right. To really get that it far out. It yeah. is fun. It is fun. I think it's fun. I mean, it's, you know, and I can tell it does seem like it's fun to you. Yeah. You well, know? like my, like random Friday favorites. I mean, that literally came to me like, I was getting a pedicure and we were just talking. I saw the and video with Did the, you see my little with, with the, the uh, at uh, which is it's uh, so the salon. Heavenly Spa. Heavenly Spa. Yeah. Yes, Heavenly yeah. Spa. Yeah. 
yeah. I watch it. Yeah, I'm like, oh yeah. my god, you got 58 well, comments. You had all these. Well, I'm like, well, that's engagement. And yes, that, and that's and Luby's that's... was the funniest. Darby and I love like we're like old people and we love Luby's. We love Luby's too. And so oh, Luby's is not dinner anymore. Fish, same oh, plate, that's what I had. Hot I had sauce. platter. And <laughs> I mean, I got we, it. We Facebook lived our meal and the food, and everyone's looking at us. I'm like, and we're not pregnant, and we're like, they make <laughs> Luby's makes the best <laughs> coconut <laughs> cream pie. Oh, so good. I mean, we try coconut yes, cream pie all the time. It has the best coconut cream. I mean, but it was like us getting real. It was like she had chicken fried steak and we had all of our carbs and then we're like oh yeah we want more cream gravy bring that yeah. cream gravy well <laughs> that's was, when you know your small town is when you like lubies like, yeah, right i mean that video was the fun. i mean it was like next thing you know we're like gosh that was shared and it was like almost to six thousand views in like two days and we're just like but it was us being us and that right. was, it wasn't real yeah. estate-ish yeah it was just like hey we're working and we're taking a break and we're gonna eat and we're gonna eat big and so it's, yeah but the friday favorite thing was just a random like we're just talking about service and I, I'm loyal. I'm loyal. Like if yeah. you give me good service, I go back to that place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, and then I was like, oh, yeah, everyone always, I mean, as a realtor, I get the, who do you use as your hairdresser? Who do you yep. use as your doctor? Yep. Where is the, I mean, who do you recommend for this? And so I was like, I just need to start doing Friday favorites. Absolutely. And it's just, yeah. and it's short and sweet and not, like we said, not staged. It's just, we're real and we're in the moment. And mm -hmm. so it's been fun. Yeah. yeah, and you know, yeah. there's a lot of people that do very, very well financially on Instagram. Yes. By doing that very thing and mentioning different companies different, yes. and things oh, like that. Yes, collaborating. You can do yeah. that on the Look, side. Yeah, I know. Well, hey, can I get some accessories, maybe? <laughs> well, and what's happened? Yes, what's happened is like even in my yeah. world, you know, based on how we've connected and engaged, and you know, with just social media influencers, mm -hmm. right? Because yes. a lot of that's where a lot of stuff yes. happens. All of a sudden, now I have them coming and asking us to do loans. Yes. Like where, uh -huh. because they get paid Thank differently. You. you know, there are people like I'm doing loans where like they're bodybuilders and they, they, they wear like their outfits, like yes. for the companies yes. they rep mm -hmm. and they don't just necessarily get, they don't no. get like a, a mm -hmm. W2 or anything like no. that. And, no. and most of the money goes through PayPal and all these types it of things. It's different. Yes. It's a different world. And so they Good. come in like, hey, okay. we've tried to go to a bank or a yes. mortgage company and they don't yeah. understand our business okay. yeah. and we can't get a loan. That's good to know. No, and that's so now, y'all can do those. Yeah, yeah. they come yeah. to me. I'm like, okay, here's yeah. how we have to structure it. Yeah. Here's how it's going to work. Yeah. And we put a yeah. loan together for mm -hmm. those yeah. social influencers. That's, no, that's, I mean, that's a huge thing because I had a client, it's been a few years back, but she built the DR Horton home. Uh -huh. And I remember like it going down to the final days and she was stressing because it was like, she made a ton of money, but it was hard to show it because right. she's missed social media. Like she's, I mean, that's, she vlogs, she, I mean, and it's all over the place. And she's yep. like, I've got this, but it's hard to show it. So yep. that's going to know. I get, that's, I I mean, get that's those way referrals of, every yeah. month wow. where... They're like, hey, how do I put a square peg in a round hole? Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> I mean, that, that's what I get known that's for. That's when you is, get creative. I mean, you well, can, you've got it. Look, I mean, after after 22 years, you know I, what? I, I've, I haven't seen every single deal no. out there, but I've seen a lot of scenarios. Yeah. And so we'll look at it. And that's why I, I love my team because they will work. In, I mean, they're in, they're in the weeds. They're, they're working good. every single deal. But what it allows me to do is take a 30,000-foot view approach to some things and say, hey, Here's what we have. We have this, this, and this. Yeah. Let's go this route mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. From a 30,000 foot view, and then they can go into the, the details of you know, connecting all the dots, yeah. right? But I need to stay up here so I can say, okay, this will work this way. Do it with, take that statement out, use this statement, and then we'll, let's go with this type of yeah. loan product. And they're like, oh my gosh, this yeah. is perfect. Which is good because as a realtor, sometimes you get the, the buyer that calls you and they're like, called someone said, I'm not approved. I'm like, okay. If you're not approved, what do they not give you a plan to let's work on? And so that's good because that's my I mean, as an old banker, like it's frustrating because I'm like, they could probably give you a this is what you need to work on. Here's right. your credit, let's do this. Or, right. you know, do, I mean, it's just it's frustrating you, look, when someone just says, when no, you you're not say, approved. Exactly. What do, you, what do you lose when somebody tells you yeah. no? Huh. You lose hope. Yeah, exactly. And that's sad. And, and yeah. we can't, and no. this is one thing we, we or pride ourselves in. For 22 yeah. years, mm -hmm. we don't tell anybody no. That's we good. just tell them not now. Yeah. Right? That's and so if it's no, it's, it's not now, then let's put you on a plan. Yeah. Whether that's yeah. income related, it's mm -hmm. debt related, it's credit related, let's get yeah. you walking down the path. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure you know all the things that you have yeah. to do to get to get one foot in front of the mm -hmm. other, but you're still going to have to do it, yeah. right? To get one foot in front mm -hmm. of the other and start yeah. walking down it. And then we'll hold your hand along the way. And then eventually, whether that's three months, six months, six years, you're ready to buy. But you have that goal. And that's, I mean, that's, that's thing right. is don't just give up. And that's what's so frustrating is so many people do. And I'm like, no, no. I mean, yes. last night we were at the football 
and we were joking about it. We even said something about, well, credit report is kind of a lot like Instagram now. It's all the algorithm. It's all numbers. I mean, it's mm -hmm. got to pay this now. I mean, it's like, right. I was like, it's sad that it's like Instagram. <laughs> I was like, right. Facebook. It's like, oh, okay, and just when you change. think you've got it figured out, it changes. And then something changes. I'm I like, mean, no, a financial I've always been yeah. taught and understood that you never want to be in debt, right? No. no. But, yeah, but I put people in debt for a living, yeah. and mm -hmm. for me to do that, I need them to be in the bad debt. Because yeah. I put people in good debt is what I feel, mm -hmm. right? Yes. But the bad debt is what I never like. But if you're not in bad debt, meaning credit card you debt your, or car yeah. loan, mm -hmm. yeah. your scores aren't going to yeah. go up. Yeah. And so it's I like talking yeah. to people well in advance of them purchasing because it's a strategy, yes. right? Credit, mm -hmm. to get your, the highest score, it's all about strategy. Yeah. And so it's about limiting limiting the number of debts that you have, limiting that the ratio. balance to the ratio, yes, right? Yes. It's all about that stuff. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then when you get it, then let's get let's get out of it to a degree until you need it again. Yeah. And so but I it's like just having a, it's those a good education that people just don't they just don't realize it. And it's something mm -hmm. like you're saying, you get you're the pros, this is what we need to do. Right. You and if they listen, it works. And if that's they what listen, I tell people like if you listen and follow it, they know how it works. Just right. Do what they say, and I promise you, you're going to get the results. So, yeah, yeah that's you, good you talk a lot about, you were saying earlier, too, about, like, talking to new agents and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff about, you know, helping them. And, yeah. and yeah. I mean, what what's, like, I don't know, the top three characteristics or one or two characteristics that you feel like you really need to be successful as a real estate professional in the in the business? Oh, yeah, you're right. That is hard because I do. I get a lot of, and I... Do you Honestly, train also? I, I don't, I've, I was helping with some, but it's kind of like where my door in my office is, it's like a rotating door roll. And I'm okay because yeah. I love helping. Mm -hmm. I want people to be successful. Mm -hmm. And my biggest thing is I want them to do it right and I want them to be ethical. Right. And so that's to me, it's like one of the biggest things I see in real estate. Mm -hmm. And then I also have to teach them if you go in and you just look at it as I want to make 3%, the deal's not going to work. You're going to look at it as this is how I'm going to help someone. Yeah. And then it's, it comes First back is to impact return. of life. Yeah. Second yeah. is is what it returns. So when they come in like, oh, I want to be that million dollar realtor, I'm like, stop right there. You're miss uh -huh. like, what? Why are you? Or do you enjoy helping people? Because mm -hmm. if you enjoy helping people, then you're gonna get that million dollars one day. Yeah. But you can't go in and just look at it as a money thing. And so it's, and it, I think a lot like you know how does HGTV and everything you see makes it seem so million glamorous. Million dollar listing and, and, and yeah, yeah and it's I, all focused on the dollar. Yeah, and I, and I often have to help people too. I'm like, okay, million dollar listings are great, but those two hundred thousand dollar homes all day every day, like you can mm -hmm. sell five of those, and those people are going to be so loyal to you, and they're mm -hmm. going to take care of you, and see right. everyone they know. So, it's just it's hard because some of them just get in there and they have that focus on this is what I want, and I have to sometimes just set them back, and you know. And then it's also like we talked about the contacts. So many people don't realize that they have, they go hang out places, they have their spear, mm -hmm. and they don't realize it's their spear. They don't know how to and plug in. Yeah, because I'm like, if I'm at a football game last night. I, I was marketing without marketing. I mean, I'm talking to parents. I'm talking. I mean, you but know, you have that conversation. Yes. I mean, th th that's your. That's just in you. Who you yes, are. You, you're, you're very outgoing. You have a lot of energy and enthusiasm. And so I'll I'll yeah. sit with a new agent, and they're like, you know, they're trying to figure out how to how to be successful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it, I'm trying to read personality, because I can mm -hmm. tell them, look, you want to know the one thing that you need to do to be an agent that's been in the business 20 years. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Be enthusiastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yes, enthusiasm is contagious. Yes, it and is. if mm -hmm. they hear you on the phone, if they see you, you in person, mm -hmm. and they see it and they feel it, the energy yeah. that you have, mm -hmm. they're going to want that. Yeah. And yeah. so that person that has 20 years in the business is sitting there, well, I got this number and I've done this many deals and this much millions of dollars. They're like, I don't really care. What are you going to do for me? Yes, and that's it. Yeah, that's right? exactly right. Yeah, it's, it's all the service. I mean, yeah. it really is. That's what I tell people. I'm like, if you're going to provide that service and you're going to show it, they're going to go with you. I mean, so what if your resume says you've been in the business and you have this many education stuff? Guess what? You took care of my mom. You took care of my aunt. I'm going to refer to you. And I'm and that's and that's, the, that's the biggest thing. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's 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 hard because I do. I sit back and I see people do things they shouldn't do. And I'm like, oh, like just do the right thing and it comes back. Yeah. And that's so I don't know. It's. It's, well, it's, it's hard. learned. I mean, yeah. I, I can tell you that that's not the way I started 22 no. years Sometimes ago. Sometimes you learn from yeah, the school of hard knocks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I, it was yeah. all about how much volume can you do and how much money can yeah. you make. Yeah. And, it, you know, we, we talk a lot about that. I mean, that's, just, mm -hmm. that's a, a game Which you can't a, win. You, I mean, yeah. it's a game you can't win because yeah. if you're focused on the dollar, you know, money goes in and out all yes. the time, right? And so you're, you're always in a debit credit situation from the banking world. Yeah, the banking, world, you know yeah, that, yeah. Right? The pink and white cash and cash Right, exactly. And you're just not going to win that game. So... When you focus on impact of life, yeah. all of a sudden it's just all yeah. it's just all positives, yeah. all yeah. all deposits going to, in the account. You have to stay positive too, like you're saying. Even social media, so many of my friends were like, 
go from like, hey, I'm happy, and then they rant all over, so like mm -hmm. terrible rants. And I'm like, you don't want your clients or your potential friends to see you post some of that stuff that I'm like, right. hey, delete that. I mean, if you yeah. want to have your private account separate, but some of the things they post, I'm like, you're always on stage. It's like whenever I used to, I used yep. to train in like um, sales and service back in the days in my old banking days, and I was like, you're always on stage. No matter what, if you're, you've got to get on there, you smile, you're happy, and you give everybody the best. It's like going to Disney World. You're like, yeah. you've always got the best service every time you're at Disney World, no matter what. Mm -hmm. And you, right. sh you should always feel like that when you're in any transaction, especially one of the biggest purchases of your home. When you buy yeah. a home. And even yeah. if you're not feeling it, you become it because you fake it yes. till you make it. Yeah, you know? oh, yeah. Uh, you know, because we're not always feeling no. the way we yeah. come across. But yeah. then, but I think that if you go ahead and just do it, yeah. then you become that. You do. I think it's like, it's mine. mine yeah, like, you know, I'm going to have a good day. I mean, like I was telling her when I got here, like my earrings. I was so sad. I'm like, I'm gonna get on. My I don't even have earrings. I'm gonna be terrible. And the whole time I'm just gonna sit there and worry. Well, I found earrings, guys, and look, they don't match. But you know what? <laughs> my mind is made over that I'm gonna have a good day, and I'm wearing orange earrings, even though they don't match my necklace. That's so, right. That's right. Good. Yeah, and I'll just keep them on all day because it's Halloween earrings, like you said, right? They there are. Yeah. And I think you look awesome. <laughs> You're sweet. Thank you. I did almost send you a text like, "Do you have any extra earrings in your purse that I could borrow?" <laughs> <laughs> I was that desperate. It's accessories, okay? You gotta it accessorize. Is accessories. Yeah, yeah. But it worked totally worked yeah. out for you. Well, when I first got into real estate, my husband used to make fun of me because I would like bump my hair a little bit more because I thought that was what you had to do. I thought you had to have like the bump it to be a realtor. You know, I'd go show him <laughs> a country and I had like the big old bump, like the big, you know, the poof. And he's like, hmm, gonna go show houses? I'm like, oh, it's that bad. <laughs> I thought I had to have the look. I don't have to have that look. You We're don't. Good. No. You don't. No, our, no our I learned. Yeah. I no, used to be the change. suit guy. Yes. I was oh, telling her that yeah, earlier. Yeah, she told me all yeah. like the stiff, stiff yeah, banker. Yeah, she, yeah. she always yeah. loves that. She's like the robot. Well, that's robot. kind of how he yeah. looked in his evil. Yeah. 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 Teleprompter. Yeah. And he was great. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know any different. So I was like, yeah, honey, you're a rocking banker, you know? And he really was came across. But then you realize that you that that is you because you can sit in a boardroom and you can yeah. give a presentation I, you can do all those good. things you can and that's what we say i'm like i can be here yep. but i can like i said i can be a thug wife i yeah. mean mm -hmm. like we're doing i can be the professional realtor i just it's whatever situation you're in i can turn it and you can I be can that, that. chameleon just, yeah, yeah. We, we just we can connect with yes that's i mean it. for me that's when, when you when mm -hmm. you don't put it tied to the dollar you tie yes. it to impact and just people yeah then you have to really know how to connect and engage. Yeah. I mean, like I, I tell my story all the time huh. and I talk about like, especially cause we do, I mean, we do a lot with first time yeah. home buyers and we do a lot of people just, you know, trying to figure out how to buy mm -hmm. investment properties. And I just go through our, my life yeah. and my experiences and how yes. we, how we couldn't get by our first yeah. house, $60,000. Mm -hmm. We didn't have any money. Yeah. We didn't have any income. Yeah. And, but we still got in the game. Yeah. We've leveraged, us getting married or married and said, you know, don't go and have this big wedding. Let's just take the five grand that we have to yeah. buy the house and yeah. then yeah. Mm -hmm. and then to use her grandparents yes. to co-sign yeah. for us, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we talk yeah. about that. So yeah. all it, of your it, it, we saved our dollar to, dance money so we can buy a refrigerator for our house. That was, I mean, that was your we dollar were, dance. Yeah, yeah, for the at the wedding. Come on, South oh, Texas. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. I didn't get I didn't get married that way. I, we went we, we eloped and. I know you said hip hop dancing, but I know you said hip hop dancing, but let's kick it. We're making it rain. Oh, uh, that's, that's so embarrassing. I told you this is going to be a special edition, guys. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Guys, so, you know, the good old Texas, South Texas tradition where yeah. you dance and people. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you we see, were so I didn't do that. Yeah. 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 That's so, yeah. not the dollar dance Bob well, was thinking about. We were yeah. the crazy people that closed the day after we got back from my honeymoon, which was n stressful. I mean, yeah. we were back in the days where you did the 80 20 loans. I mean, that's oh, yeah. what we did, uh -huh. you know, and it was like. And I tell people my story is like we were in the home and then our 20% loan comes in. Well, guess what? Our 80 accidentally was the one that was adjustable and not the 20. Oh. And that was a, I mean, we had had a baby. I mean, we were like, how are we going to make this work? I mean, mm -hmm. I just remember bawling and crying. So luckily we had enough equity, which unlike other people did at that time, that we were able to roll yep. it in and do a conventional, mm -hmm. but rolled in closing. I mean, it was just like one of those, I mean, it worked out, but it was like, how did we, oh, we both were bankers. How do we miss it? Yeah. yeah. Your sign, you know, it was like, well, okay. You know, it was like, so I get yeah. the story. The stories, I mean, and we also did it to where we sold our old house and I thought, oh, our credit's perfect. And I paid down some cards. Well, there was one other card that I, the ratio, like you're saying, mm -hmm. my banker was like, dude, you need to pay it down by $1,100. But I was like, $1,100, that's a lot of that's money. That's a lot of money. You yeah. know, and he was like, your score will bump 23 points. And I was like, okay. 
if you promised me, and it, and it did. So yep. that's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. I know, yeah. like if you listen you, to your bankers yep. and your lenders, it works. I mean, the mortgage right. guys know. They, they know. So yeah, I think it, it helps that we have our stories mm -hmm. and you can connect to people. Well, you connect and engage, yeah. and, and whether it's the, the first time home buyer, it's the one buying the investments, you yeah. know, it's it's the boardroom people. I mean, you, you gotta, I think those are real life experiences yes. that when you get to, I think that's the one thing that having 22 years or mm -hmm. 20, 10, 15 years of experience helps you bring to the yeah. table is just your mm -hmm. relatability yes. um, and how you can engage with well, them. I think that's, and that's it's so like, important. And that, to me, it's like you remember the moments where you close in a home and it's the first time you have a client that's able to get a dishwasher. And mm. they're thrilled because they're buying a home. But, you know, and it's like those yeah. are the moments that you're like, this is why I'm in the business. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, you know, it's like I just helped this family move into something that, you know, the kids are excited. They get stairs or they get their own rooms. Is you that, know? Is that what drives like, you today? I do. It's, I think it's, it's the seeing the results on the side that you're able to help someone and i mean it's uh -huh. like and i've i mean i've get my single mamas that don't you know they come down and they're defeated or a single parent in general and they don't think they're going to do something and then next thing you know you get them and their three kids in a home because like we talked about the grant programs and the loan yep. there are there's i talked to mom last night i was like she just bought a car and i was like sweetie i was like you need to work let's get your house because you're paying 1900 dollars a month rent like you can do this mm -hmm. and so that's i mean it's i think for me it's the the helping Mm -hmm. Helping someone and seeing I just made their life a little better. Right. Just I, you know, I didn't do anything special. I was just there to help them believe in themselves. And mm -hmm. so I think a lot of that. It's, it's incredibly it's, rewarding. It's rewarding. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it's just any time you can help anybody like believe in themselves, you mm -hmm. know, to do something better. You mm -hmm. get that impact, and you're like, look at what we just did. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and just and then that's and then you you see them and you see the kids. You go to their birthday parties. You see them graduate to go to college now, and it's like the whole relationship. I'm like. Your kid can't be graduating. Like I'm right. not that old yet. I mean, I'm not forty, <laughs> yeah. no. But you become it's a like, part of their yeah. lives and their community. And yeah. So I think it's moments like that that make me go back and be like, "This is why I'm in the business." Right. Like yeah. it's because I get to help someone. So. so what does the future look like for you, or what are your goals? Are you wanting to add to your team? Eventually. Great question, yeah, Jennifer. That's, yeah, Darby is Darby watching Darby. <laughs> so right now we're it's just Darby and I. But right now, um, of course, we need some more assistance just because of the what we've got going yeah. on in mm -hmm. our production. And I mean, we do, I mean, we've got goals. We eventually, we want our own standalone building. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice to have a cool building like this. I mean, yeah. but it's, <laughs> we're going to do it right. And when timing is right, I mean, right now it's just the two of us, but we will probably eventually maybe, you know, down the line add. But mm -hmm. I mean, we need to get ourselves doing more of what we're good at. And that's being out with the people and connecting. Right. And so that's where we need to work on our you know, behind the scenes stuff, like and, you're talking about. No, I 100% yeah, I yeah, agree because, yeah. you know, when we talk about highest and best yeah. use, like the way we looked at, you know, building our team and because and, I, I, we go through a lot of that is, and, and you got to find the right people that buy That's into it. the whole thing mm -hmm. because they, they know that I'm best doing this yes. and putting yes. the brand out there in front of people mm -hmm. to engage with them. Mm -hmm. And that's my highest and best use and the influence yes. that I have to bring people in to give us business. That's true. They know that their highest and best use is protecting the brand and the process that we've built yes. so that every customer gets treated exactly the same way and delivers mm -hmm. exactly the same mm -hmm. type of experience because they don't care. No. The customer doesn't care you're they growing or how much business you do. They care about one loan, yes. mm -hmm. theirs. And, I don't and so that's yeah. their job yeah. and responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's a, it's a really, really good balance. You have to be great at building mm -hmm. a process mm -hmm. and you have to have people that buy into it and make it better yes. than even what you've yeah. built. That's true. Because they own yeah. it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I like that. Because you're right, they do own it because they're a part of that team and the yeah. and it's, it's And then it yeah. just allows yeah. you to be on the front yeah. side of mm -hmm. that and just, and just better at. engaging yeah. and, and I, talking. Like you said, yeah. like yeah. yesterday, last night, you were at the football game. What are you yeah. doing? You are, you are marketing. Yeah, yeah. You're but in front I'm of just, them. Yeah, I'm in front of them and I'm just being me, exactly. but it's, I'm Chrissy and I happen to be the realtor. Mm -hmm. And that's it. I don't walk around my name tag. I'm Chrissy. It's just like, yeah. because I'm all over. I mean, it's they see it mm -hmm. and it's a community and it's things are shared. and. Well, it's like it's fun, like, we're, I'm seeing some things happen, like, with Instagram and all this, because I'm connecting. Do you get recognized in public? Um, like, uh, yeah. Okay, because that's it's, how it is with us. Like, we'll be in places, and we'll be at Hobby Lobby, and someone's like, you're Chrissy. I follow you, and I'm like, oh, good, I look like I do on my Facebook. You know? <laughs> I don't know. We, went, we were down that's in, the best, though. Uh, yeah. We were down in an SMU <laughs> football game. You tell it, you tell it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah we were, at, and we were in an SMU yeah. football yeah. game just a couple months ago, and uh, there was these young, you know, college girls taking the tickets, and Bob walks up, and he's with Brandon, and, and uh, he, they, one, of, one of the girls goes, 
hey, I know you. And the girl sitting beside her goes, you're Bob Mortgage. I love it. And so, well, it's, it's just our ads. I mean, yeah, we, you know, we're, I mean, we're, we have something going out to you know what you're doing works. I mean, that's just, it's. And so these yeah, are not yeah, people that yeah. we know. They're not people that even are friends on our Facebook page. Yeah. Uh, they're just seeing us out there because of the ads or, mm -hmm. you know, maybe Candy's Dirt, something like yeah. that. But it was just, and they're young. They're college kids that, you know, we're, are they're going gonna to buy. Be, they're going to well, buy. And that here's mean, the other thing. I, yeah. I'm starting to see, like, because mm -hmm. IG, I, and I'm on Snapchat, but I'm yes, starting to, yeah, I'm learning a that a little Snapchat. bit better. Yeah. But I'm having, like, my 12-year-old Mm -hmm. Friends connect with me. Yes, and 14. no, and that's and 14. Us. Yeah, so, 12 yeah. and 14. Yeah. And so yeah. what, what's happening? Like, like Vivian goes, yeah. One of my my mm -hmm. uh, friends said, do I need to call your dad Mr. Mortgage? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> they think but it's my last name. And their parents, and that's the thing. It's like my daughter said the first day of like school this year, her teacher was like Maloof, and she was like, yes, sir. Your mom's that realtor in town, right? Mm -hmm. And that's like, <laughs> and I was like. I just looked. I was like, then I'm doing my job right. That's exactly right. I mean, right. what we're what we're showing yeah. our kids that's is what like, it's all look, about. Yeah. You have the ability because we talk about with like our daughters play beach yeah. volleyball. Love that. You yeah. know, and they love beach. And I'm yeah. like, look, you know, this is great, but let's let's take a step back and really look at this from a thirty thousand foot view. That's what I love yes. to do, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you we're gonna have schooling and education. We still believe in all that stuff, yeah. but it's changing and, and we see what social mm -hmm. can do for you. If you mm -hmm. love education, you love sports. How can then you get it in front of that with yes. creating your own personal brand? Because yes. I'm a big, it's a brand you are, we brand, I'm a yeah. big personal brand yes. kind of guy, mm -hmm. right? Because you mm -hmm. never know where that leads you. Yeah, it can lead you to the best job ever. Mm -hmm. It can lead you into self-employment. Mm -hmm. It can lead you to creating your For own, sure. you know, yeah. blog and, yeah. and, and doing different things with, you know, their passion, right? Yeah. Whatever that could be. Mm -hmm. And so they have to learn how to in today's That's age good. take this, yes, and and make it everything, yeah. right? Take this and it, this is. CNBC, NBA, NBA, everything. You know, C yeah. CBS, every yeah. ABC, everything. Yeah. Take it and use it for the yeah. for to better to better the community. Yeah, and that's and I see that though. I feel like there's there's the youth. There's some that don't know, but a lot of the youth is doing it for the right way mm -hmm. and making mm -hmm. the right impact. And my, I mean, and my kids, that's my. I'm like, you're allowed to have it, but they they're mm -hmm. so good at Madison right now. She'll post a picture and it's like a positive comment underneath it. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? That's good. And like the other day, you saw that one Facebook where some girl posts like to her on Instagram. You're a goody goody, and so she replied back, "No, I just make a decision." So I'm like, "Yep, that's that's that's, just God, fine. that's awesome. That's, I love you know, that, that's and good. that's the power with. Like yeah. I said, I don't want yeah. that person in my life because it's negative. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. bringing negativity. I can eliminate from yeah. a social standpoint, like, right? Yeah. I want the positive stuff in my yes. life, and yeah. all I want to do is project yeah. positivity. Yeah, and that's yeah. what's good about because you can uh, like hide stuff. Yes. I mean, it's, I mean, there's things I'm like, if all you're gonna post is negative, I mean, it's just like. I mean, just like in sales, if if we were just post every day, mortgage, 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 it's like, oh, Bob. Yeah. That's all you're posting. I mean, yeah, like, you see the real Bob and you see the real you. <laughs> right. It's like, then people are like, oh, I can see the mortgage stuff. And, I, and it's like, all my friends, when they do that third party sales, I'm like, okay, okay, I love you, but that product, I see it all over my page. Yeah. And you mix your life in there. Like, you're using that product and yes. maybe all. Like, you're like, I'm drinking this drink. It's a brand, not just yeah. like, Here's my sales pitch. Here's my sales pitch. So. Right. You have to talk about yeah. other things. And, you know, we learned early on, like when we started evolving with social media and all mm -hmm. of that, it's like, I mean, like Bob always says, huh. mortgages are not sexy. No. Uh, yeah. And nobody wants to no. talk about them, even when they have to do one yeah. every seven yeah. to ten yeah. years, right? But, yeah, but they need to know. I but mean, they, need to they know. need to know. Yeah. And he needs to yeah. be the first yeah. one they yeah. think of whenever they mm -hmm. do have a question mm -hmm. or whatever. So yeah. he's got to be doing yeah. interesting things and out in the forefront so that when it is time that they will think yeah. of him. Yeah. And so it's happening. Yeah, I want to. I mean, I'm really working hard to engage with people. You know, 18, 24, 36, yeah, 60 months right. before mm -hmm. they ever decide mm -hmm. to buy, and, and so they don't want to engage with me on mortgage. That's why yeah. I like the music stuff that yeah. I'm doing. You know, that creating. Age, but you're the person in their too. mind that they're gonna think of when they're yeah. Yeah, that's right. hopefully yeah. that's that's the, it thing. Is. That's the goal. It is. Yeah. It is. We'll it's let you know how it works out. Even if it's not them, <laughs> it will. Even if it's not it them will. at that time. They've they built mm -hmm. enough. They got mm -hmm. to know me, like me, and trust yes. me over that period yeah. of time, where they maybe will refer yes. other mm -hmm. people yeah. to me during their journey, right? That yes. five year journey to mm -hmm. home ownership or eighteen month journey yeah. to home ownership. I mean, that's kind of how this is starting to to it's, work. It's working. It will because that's I feel like I get a lot of like the agents that follow me on Instagram or message me, and I'll get referrals from there. They'll message me like, "Can you give me tips?" And of course, I'm. Why would I not help them? Because right. I mean, yeah. to me, it's going to come back in return one day. If they might need a, they might need to transfer. Someone needs to move here, and they can. I mean, it's, what's what's the one know? thing that you wish you would have done earlier on, or done differently that 
It's because we do have agents. I wish that watch. I would have been YouTubing younger, like on the like social media stuff, or well, just in general. Just in general, as an, and as well, a, I would have been professional getting in. I would have been more organized in my sphere because I okay. know a lot of people, but because I'm that type, hey, I'm all over the place. Yeah. I didn't have it organized, and okay. between I left places and emails and phone, it's it was not in like a central place. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so for me, that was my biggest issue. Is I have this huge sphere, but it was like now you want me to get it organized. I mean. So, yeah. I mean, if you've got time, start organizing now. Um, don't give up. I mean, because a lot of people mm -hmm. get in this business. And at first, I mean, I know it's hard. I mean, mm -hmm. the first six months, it's like, you're just, oh, my gosh. I'm so, I've worked phones. I mean, and I did deals. But like I said, it's when things weren't appraising back then and things were falling apart, I was like, I'm still not giving up. Even if I had to go get another job mm -hmm. and do both at the same time, I still had that goal and had the vision. And I knew what I was meant to do. Mm -hmm. And I, so, I just didn't give up. Yeah, that's great yeah. advice. Stay, stay positive. Yeah. Because it is hard. Yeah. I mean, it is. It's not <laughs> oh, I cry. I mean, there's days yeah. I'll be in my car that I'm just like, whoo. <laughs> I pick up the phone and I'm like, whoo. And you get the shoulders are all tight. Yeah. 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 What yeah. next? But it's, you just, it's, you solve the problem, you try your best and you move on and, right. you know, it's, you, you just, can only you do know so what? Much. And it's like with us, yeah. I mean, so many moving pieces, you can't always yeah. control, control yeah. people's emotions or, or whatever. But, yeah. you know, all we can do is do the very best yeah. job that we can. Exactly. And keep a very good open door with the agents that we work with yes. and our clients. Mm -hmm. uh, it is, I mean, we say it so much, it's almost cliche. Yeah. It is all about the communication yes. yeah. um, and with back and forth yeah. with mm -hmm. one another. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll even take it to another level. It's like proactive communication. Yeah. I mean, you know, today there's a couple of things. One, if you try to have satisfied clients, I think you've already failed, right? Because mm -hmm. most people can try to satisfy you. But if you really want to go to that next level, I mean, you have to deliver a level of service that exceeds expectations. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, they, you have true. to leave them yeah. saying, wow, that was pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's what moves the needle enough mm -hmm. in their life yes. to where they will take time to give you a five-star review. They will yes. take time to refer sure. somebody. If it's just satisfaction, Look, anybody can anybody do that. Anybody can do that. You're right. right. Anybody can do that. The other mm -hmm. thing is it's not just communication yeah. anymore. Yeah. People yeah. communicate, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But you got to go to the next level to proactively communicate. Yes. If you really know your trade, you already know the questions that somebody's going to ask mm -hmm. or you already you, you kind of feel it and you know it, so why don't you start answering it before they ever ask it? Yes. And if you have the ability to do that, again, that's where you take it to another level and where you start exceeding expectations. Yeah. I mean, that's why, you know, I build, I mean, we talk about these things. It's not, it's like culture. You can't hang something on no. the wall. Yeah, so. and say, this is our culture. <laughs> yes. I mean, you've got to really engage the team, engage that. your company, yeah. and talk yeah. about it yeah. all the time. And so yeah. we, I mean, it's like these guys, I mean, they know it. I mean, it's yeah. like, okay, let's have our conversation about communication. Yeah. Let's have our conversation about, you know, the process, because that's all we can yeah. control. Yeah. I can't control your expectation. Yeah. You know, what, how you're going to react. I can't control how you're going to feel. All I can control is if I've built the process and we proactively communicate, we do exactly what we're going to say we're going to do, mm -hmm. then, then yeah, it's up yeah, to you yeah. to engage, to have a like a wow moment, Let's all that wow stuff. Wow moments, yeah. yeah. You're right. Yeah. I mean, if you're right, it's the other person too. They have to be, they have to interact. Mm -hmm. But yeah, wow moments are the best. Those are the ones that you just, those are the storytellers. That's mm -hmm. exactly yeah, right. That's what I said. Those are the ones that you'll always remember and they use those to help someone else. That's exactly so, right. That's awesome. You are so fun. Yeah. I love this. Can I come every Wednesday? Just kidding. He's like, no. <laughs> no, because she wanted me to sing Ed Sheeran's I wanted you, yeah, right? <laughs> Your phone might have died. I don't it know. It probably did. Okay. Well, because I didn't get to charge it last night. But it's oh, it's no. okay. It just, it, it, just, really? it just died, though. Like, literally, I yeah, think I'm saying that. Yeah, I think I looked over it. Yeah, I was, was like, a, that was an that, abrupt and, ending and to that's, me. Yeah, that's mom fell. Hashtag mom fell. That's my life. So. But that makes it even more yeah. interesting. That tells us we definitely need a longer cord to get to charge your phone. Well, that means Watch the rest of the story. You yeah. need to go over too. Oh yeah, yeah. exactly. That's, it. That's what we see. That was all we worked that one yeah. out. Yeah, because yeah. it got even more exciting. Yeah, you yeah. grabbed that deal, Jen, and, and actually charged You're it while she was doing yeah, that. But okay. No, I mean, I, I really. I mean, it was awesome to yes. to have you on the show. I mean, yeah, we, I love we, this location. Y'all have a really cool location. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you I mean, know, it's, it's like Switzerland. Addison yeah. is Switzerland because. It's, it's everywhere, it's nowhere. It's everywhere, yeah. nowhere. Yeah. There's yeah. no homes yeah. really here. There's some townhomes yeah. there, but you know, it's just a business community, yeah. and you know, it's it's interesting. People in like Colin Denton County are like, "Oh, Dallas." Mm. People in <laughs> Dallas are like, mm, "No, Colin." It's so weird. I'm like, like that. I'm, I'm yes. like, I'm like Addison. It's like, yeah. you know, 
I'm it's, just here. And they're like, here. oh, yeah, we'll work. Yeah. I mean, they feel good about it. It is funny how that works, though, because to me, it's like it took me 32 minutes to get here. It was, yeah. that's no time. But it it's was like, no time. but you're right, because it's like where I'm at, it's like, oh, we have to cross the lake. I mean, it's, right. You know, right. So, I mean, now 35 can be a nightmare at times, but it's, I mean, it's, oh, it's different over there. And I'm like, you well, know, it's like, it's so funny. Yeah. Whenever I lived in Denton, the whole time I lived in Denton, I waited tables in Deep Ellum on the weekends. Oh, wow. And so, okay. but it was nothing. Yeah. To no. drive. Well, that's what you do. I mean, that's what I'm like. That's where we would go eat. And yeah. I mean, that's what I remember. Denton didn't have Off Garden. It was like a big deal to drive to Louisville to go oh, to yeah. Off Garden. And yeah. that was like, and that's, I worked at a bank then where they were Catholic and we would close on Good Fridays from 12 to 4. Uh -huh. And so all of our whole department would shut down and drive from like Pilot Point all the way to, <laughs> I was like, go all the way to Louisville to eat and hang out yeah. at Mr. Ridge Mall and then go all the way back. That was our thing on Good Friday. I was like, woo. And now I'm like, but it was nothing then. Right but now, now, like it's just because you've got the conveniences everywhere, you do. But then we were always in Dallas. I mean, Deep Ellum. Yeah. I, I hung out Deep Ellum. I really think days. it was like thirty-nine minutes or something like that, yeah. door to door. Okay, really quick though, okay. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna end the jam. You're, okay. gonna, have to, you're gonna have to follow us yes. on our vlog uh, coming up to see the rest of this conversation because okay. I know it's gonna go in places yeah. that you're, <laughs> you're gonna want to see. Uh, but we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll continue that on the on the, our daily vlog. But guys, thanks so much. Yes. Thank you so much, Christopher, for, for, for Happy coming to the jam session. Oh, yes. I really do appreciate it. My Happy pleasure. Halloween, yes. guys. E, thanks for giving us your eyes, your ears today. Uh, hopefully, we exceeded expectations. Yes. I'm sure we did because Christy's here and Jennifer's here. Woo yeah, 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 I didn't really add in a whole lot. So if I suck, no. just let me know. I'll do better next time. No. <laughs> Take care. Have an awesome Halloween.